In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a Mickey Mouse Clubhouse house. Now, some of you on the channel might remember that I have made the actual Mickey Mouse Clubhouse in its entirety, including all of the stuff that you would expect to find around it. You can actually find a link for that tutorial right now, it's in the card system and the description below. But the difference between that one and this one is that this one is significantly larger, this one is made out of concrete, and this one is actually big enough that on the inside, you can have yourself a pretty substantial house. Oh, and it's also kind of cool because you can use the tunnel slash slide as an actual tunnel slash kind of slide. I mean, you can't really slide down stuff in Minecraft without water, but it still exists there. It's kind of a cool way to exit your house. And there you have it. I hope that you guys enjoy this one. If you enjoy the video, please do remember to hit that like button. It really helps me out so much more than you could imagine. And if you do want to check out any more builds by me, fun houses, cartoon related builds, even the previous Mickey Mouse's Clubhouse where I do a really good job of actually making all of the clubhouse instead of just this middle bit, which is now just a big giant house. Check all that out in the card system description below. Why don't I actually show you how to make this thing? So before we begin, I should let you know that this build will require roughly a 48 block by a 42 block area. 48 blocks coming across the front by about 42 blocks going from front to back. We'll also need all of these materials that I've just put in my hot bar and the remaining ones in my inventory as well. Make sure that you have all of these. Pause the video if necessary. I'd especially recommend pausing the video if you do need to make this grid in your world because this does take up quite a large area and the reason it does take up quite such a large area is because we're also doing the surrounding wall and garden and stuff that you might have saw at the start of the video so just make sure you've got enough room. If you did make the grid however you want to begin on the very front left hand corner block which is about here and you want to move right of this block by one, two, three. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We're then going to move inwards by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We're going to place a red concrete block on top of that 11th block. And we want to look down. And the reason we want to look down is because from this block, we want to do an up left diagonal then go left by one do two up left diagonals one two go up one do an up left diagonal and go up by nine one two three four five six seven eight nine then do an up right diagonal go up one do two up right diagonals one two go right one do an upper right diagonal and go right by nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do a bottom right diagonal, right one. Then two bottom right diagonals. One, two, go down one. Do a bottom right diagonal and go down by nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do a bottom left diagonal, go down one. Do two bottom left diagonals, one, two, left one. Do a bottom left diagonal and go left until you inevitably connect all the way back to where you very first started. Now, once you have done this, the next objective is going to be for us to add a little bit of windows. That's right. So, Come back to where we very first started, which is this block right here. I'm sure you guys have good enough memory that you can find this block. From this block, we want to place a red concrete on top, go right by one, place a light blue glass, extend it up by three, one, two, three, and extend the middle two blocks left by one each and right by one each. Go right of the two middle blocks by using red concrete and you want to place two blocks. One, two, one, two. Then place two, actually three rows of glass going right. One, two, three. One, two, three. Take the middle block in your row, extend it upwards one and also downwards one, like this. 
We then want to place red concrete all the way around the glass. So staying within the boundaries of the red concrete road that we have on the left and the red concrete road that we have on the right, we want to end up with a shape that should look like this. Then add an additional and final row of red concrete directly on top of this, like that. We then want to take every single of a red concrete block that has been placed on the ground and all of these blocks want to be made as high as the row at the front. So that means taking every single one of these blocks, of which there are quite a few, I hope I don't have to point that out, this is going to take a little while, we want to raise them all up as high as the row that we have just worked on that has the windows in it. I'm sure that you'll be able to do that without too many problems. Now that we have made all of the rows as high as each other, we now want to add a little bit of detail to the house. Make your way to the right hand side of the house. You're looking for this block on the bottom left hand side of the long side of the right hand side of the house. It sounds tricky but I'm sure you'll locate it easy enough. From this block, move inwards to the right by one, two, three and place a black concrete in front of that block. Go up by two, one, two, do an upright diagonal, and go right, do a bottom right diagonal, and go down to the ground. And add, an <laughs> add an additional row of black concrete in front of this, followed by a row of yellow concrete. The difference with the yellow concrete, however, is we want to join it together in the corners at the top and then extend the two middle blocks up by one. Like that. We then want to place a row of yellow concrete that is one row outwards from the left hand row of concrete here. So like in this position, place a yellow block. And then we want to extend this yellow block backwards by three. One, two, three. That away. We then want to take this third block and go up on top of it by four. One, two, three, four. And go right one. Go up by three. One, two, three. Go left one. Up by two. One, two. Go right by one up one, right one, up one, right one, down, right, down, right, down by two, one, two, left one, down by three, one, two, three, right one, and then connect all the way down to the ground, like this. We then want to be able to have a doorway in the center of the outside of the foot. Whether you guys realize it or not, this is the bottom of the foot, which is also the entrance to the clubhouse. So we're going to be placing a doorway here. I'm going to have a double set of wooden doors. And I'm going to use blue concrete to go around the doors on the left and right and join together at the top. And better to form the shape of the foot, I want to increase the size in the middle by one. And then I'm going to place yellow concrete around all of this. 
and I also want to fill in the top as well, so I want to make a solid shape out of all of it, it'll end up looking exactly like that. Well, now that you have indeed done that, we want to come to this part of the foot, and we want to take the outer yellow blocks that we've just uh, made for the outer part of the foot, and we want to extend them backwards by one row. It'll look like this, let me show you. So, like, we take all of these outer blocks, and we want to extend them backwards by a row. What we're trying to do is we are trying to give the foot a 3D feel. So, like that. Then we want to do the same thing one more time. So every single block extend backwards by one row, like this. Wonderful. Now, the next thing we want to do is this. So we want to fill in all of the space at the bottom of the foot. So if you take this yellow block and extend it upwards as high as you have to, so it's about as high as this yellow block here. Extend the yellow row across and then down just to cover up the empty space at the bottom of the foot like that. We then want to place yellow blocks on the outside of the empty space here and the yellow blocks just want to cover up all of the empty space that you had at the top of the foot. Like that. We then want to make this look a little bit better, because that's not too bad, that looks alright, but the foot is actually a bit pointier at the top. So, uh, we want to take if you've this block right here, extend it towards you by one, right one, extend these rows down by two, one, two, one, two, and take the middle blocks and go left one and right one. So we want to have something which should look like that, and I think we can all agree that that looks a little bit better. Now, that is the main entrance to the clubhouse. What I also like to do is I like to lay out a little bit of red carpet in front of the clubhouse entrance. So maybe like a couple of rows of red carpet in front of the width of the foot. And then I like to shrink it down one row, and then another. Something like that looks quite nice, and it is also factual with the actual clubhouse. Add that, or don't add that, that is kind of up to you. So, anyway, once we have done that, we have to work on the shape of the actual clubhouse, the centre part, a little bit more. So, grab your red concrete, come all the way up to the top of the clubhouse, and you want to, one row above, and one row inside of the top of the clubhouse, place a row of red concrete. So, this row of red concrete does not want to join together at the corners. It's very important that it doesn't actually, because it changes, the, it changes the shape drastically if you do. However, one row above and one row inside, you're just shrinking it, making it higher. That's all you're doing. Shrinking it one row, making it one row higher. And this is how we are going to achieve the sort of like dome effect that we have at the top of the clubhouse. And here's the thing, once you have placed your one row of red directly above like that, one row above, one row inside, we then want to add an additional row all the way around on top of this. So directly on top, add an additional row of red to make that not one row of red, but two rows of red right on top, like this. Just like that. Now, the next thing we're going to be doing is we want to add another row of red. So, this other row of red is going to be, once again, one row above and inside the top of the clubhouse. However, this time it's a bit different because we do now indeed want to connect the corners together. So, beforehand, where we wouldn't have connected the corners, so it'd look like that, right? We do want to connect the corners together now. So, it's a nice, long, flowing shape. There is no block that isn't touching another block if that makes sense. I, I almost uh, made that mistake there. But I'll show you what this looks like in a moment once I have actually done this particular part of the clubhouse. Once again, one row above, one row inside. However, you do want to connect it all together, so it'll end up like, looking like a nice big circle like this. Now, once you have done that, we want to do this two additional times. Each time above 
and inside, connecting together in the in the corners. It all wants to connect together. One row above, one row inside. This is the first time, but we will be doing it one more time as well. We want to use the same procedure every single time. So from here, just one more time, you can see that this is slowly starting to take shape on the top. And what is different with this layer as well is we want to fill the center of it in using red concrete. So we do want to completely fill the top of this in because we don't want to have any sort of like weird holes in the clubhouse and there absolutely would be if we were not to fill this top layer in using our red concrete. And this also primes the clubhouse because the next thing that we shall be adding, very important, is Mickey's head. So you want to end up with a shape that should look very much like that. Now, the next step is this. We want to take the front of the clubhouse and we're all the way up at the top. Let's say we're starting from this left hand side. So we want to take this block right here and we want to move to the right of this block by not one, but two. So we're in line with this block. We want to move inwards by three. One, two, three. Place a black concrete like that. Then from this black concrete, you want to do, looking down, two up left diagonals. One, two. Go up one, do two up right diagonals. One, two. Go right one, do two bottom right diagonals. One, two. Go down one, do two bottom left diagonals. One, two. And you should have created a black circle in the very center of the head. That's very important because once you have this black circle, extend it upwards by two rows. Yep, two rows. One, two. One, two. You guys get the gist. It's two additional rows on top of the base circle of black concrete. Like this. We then want to take the left hand side of this and it can be any one of these two blocks on the left hand side and we, from these blocks we want to do an up left diagonal using the black. And then go left one, do two up left diagonals, one, two, go up one, do an up left diagonal and go up by five, one, two, three, four, five, do an upright diagonal, and go up by one, do two upright diagonals, one and two, and go right one, do an upright diagonal, and go right by five, one, two, three, four, five, do a bottom right diagonal, and go right by one, do two bottom right diagonals, one and two, go down by one, and do a bottom right diagonal, go down by five, one, two, three, four, five, and do a bottom left diagonal, go down by one, and do two bottom left diagonals, one, and two, and go left by one. So we want to have a shape which should look exactly like this. It's just a big circle, pretty much, is exactly what this thing is. Now, once you have this rather large circular shape, this is what we are going to do with it. And this might be a little bit tricky, so let's make sure we get this right. So the first thing we have to do is we have to begin adding layers. We want to start off by adding two rows of black concrete in front of the outer row. One layer, two layer. And you want to do this absolutely all the way around. 
whichever method you want to do it, whether you want to add it on the blocks individually, or whether you want to do a nice little circuit as I'm kind of doing right now, then you can achieve it in any way you want. Just add two rows of black in front of what, uh, what you made previously. Just like this. Now, the next thing we want to do is we also want to connect it together at the bottom. So, if you take these bottom rows of black, you just want to extend this row of black outwards so that it matches the rows of black that you had previously, if that makes sense. So, you can see that row of six that you have at the top. You also want to create a row of six at the bottom by extending the top of the neck outwards. I'm sure that you'll be able to copy what I've just made. Anyway. Next thing you want to do is you want to shrink the shape of this shape. You want to shrink the shape of the circle. You want to shrink the circle. So the next thing we want to do is we want to add a layer of black concrete inside and outwards in relation to the row of black concrete that we've made. So add a row of black concrete that goes all the way around the inside of the circle that specifically does not connect together at the corners and extend it towards you. So one row towards you, one row inside, similar principle to uh, as what we did earlier with the top of the clubhouse, except this time we are in fact doing it with Mickey Mouse's head. So, we want to have something which should look a little bit like this, which is a little bit difficult to see, to be honest with you, because, of course, like, the black on black with, like, a really light background is really difficult to see. But that's what we're aiming for. We now want to add a row of black concrete that is one row inwards and one row outwards again. However, this time it wants to be connected together at the corners, whereas previously it was not connected together at the corners, um, this time it wants to be. If you're wondering why we start off by not connecting it together at the corners uh, for the first couple of rows, is because that helps maintain the circular shape. However, once you start connecting it at the corners, it starts to become a bit more abstract, but it does become more rounded at the top. You'll see what I mean, and you can even see examples of that with the top of the clubhouse, but that's what we want to have. Once again, very difficult to see black on black, but I'm sure that you guys will be able to do it. And now, for a final time, we are going to add a row of black concrete that once again sits inside of the empty space at the top of the clubhouse. So, this time, we do want to... You can do it the, this way if you want. You can either do the row that shrinks around the inside of the face like this, and it also connects together at the corners, or you can straight up just fill in all of the empty space. It is completely up to you which uh, methodology you want to use. So, you can create like a big empty space like that, and then fill it in, or you can, you know, you can just completely fill it all in as you go. It doesn't really matter which way. The most important thing, however, is that we do fill in the entirety of, uh, of Mickey Mouse's face. So we want to have something which should look exactly like that. Now, once you have done that, it's time for us to move towards the back of the clubhouse. On the back of the clubhouse, we now want to take this row, this circular row of black concrete, and extend it backwards towards us by three rows. One, two, and three, like this. And we want to do this for every single black concrete block that we have on the outline of the back of the head. So this is similar to what we did at the front of the head, except this time it's three rows that we're extending it. And then we will uh, gradually um, actually add layers and layers to the head until it is uh, the shape as it is on the front. So let's just add the three layers. Very simple. I'm sure that you guys have managed to do this. Thank you. 
There we are. So once you have added your three rows, you also want to connect them together at the bottom. So you want to create a row of six at the bottom that comes out as far as the outside of the head and also as far as the top of the neck. And you'll end up with a shape that should look very much like this. I'm sure this is very familiar to you. Well, once you have created this shape right here, the next thing for us to do is, of course, we want to shrink the shape of the head. So we will add a row of black concrete that is one row inside and one row outwards from the actual shape of the head. And do remember that this does not want to connect together at the corners. That's one of those rows. Just like this. Now, we want to do this two more times. However, with these two times, we do want the rows to connect together in the corners. So, that's where it's different. Previously, we didn't want them to connect together in the corners. This time, we're looking for that more rounded shape rather than a circular shape. We're looking to give it a bit more volume. Again, you'll be able to see the difference. It, it does actually make kind of uh, quite a difference right there. Once you've done that once, you then of course want to take the remaining empty space in front of the empty space of the head, and you can either make a big shape, as I'm going to do, I'm going to make a big circular shape and fill it in, or you can just opt to uh, completely uh, to just fill it in, like all of the empty space in one go. So, that is what I've created. I've created a nice big circle, and now I'm going to fill it in. I was briefly contemplating adding another row to the head, but I, I actually kind of like the big bulbous shape that we have here. If you find that you want the head to be a bit more 3D, perhaps if you want it to be a bit more circular, uh, if you want it to be a bit more spherical, like come out a little bit more, maybe you want to add another row or two uh, in front of it. But I actually kind of like that. I don't think that that looks too bad whatsoever. And once you have made the head, the next thing is going to be to make ears. We can't forget the ears, can we? So, to make the ears, it's very simple. Come all the way up to the top left-hand side of the head. So, you're on the top left-hand side of the head. You want to locate the two middle rows. So it, the two middle rows are basically like, the two middle blocks are about here, right? And the ears want to begin here, in this position. So the yellow concrete is just so that you can see it a bit easier. On top of these two blocks, pick one of them and raise them up by three, using black. One, two, three, like that. And then take that top block, the third block, and do two upper left diagonals. One, two. Then go left of this diagonal by three. One, two, three. Then do two bottom left diagonals. One, two. Go down by three. One, two, three. And do two bottom right diagonals. One and two. And go right until you connect to the head. So we want to end up with this shape right here. We also want to add an additional layer of black concrete directly in front of this. So instead of having one row of this, we want to have two rows of this. And it's important that these two rows are directly in the middle of the head. You should be able to fit two blocks either side of this on the side of the head. If you can, then you've done that correctly, and there should be two rows. We then want to add a layer of black concrete that is inside and yet outside of this. So, one row towards you, you want to place a row of black concrete that connects at the corners like this. So, go around the inside of the shape, connect it together in the corners, and you want to end up with a shape that should look exactly like that. 
It's kind of difficult to do it here with the ears because you have because it's like the shape's a little bit squashed, but that's the shape that you're looking for. You also want to fill in all of this empty space here, but you want to do it one row towards you. So as to further kind of like make a dome shape, a circular shape, you want to do it one row towards you, just like that. And also on the back, if you take the back, you want to do the same thing. So we want to add a layer of black concrete that sits around the inside of the outer part. Of, uh, of the actual ear shape and it connects together all the way back to the head like that and one in the corner and then we want to place a row of black concrete that just fills in all of the empty space one row towards you on the back like this and you'll achieve the same effect that you have done on the front and it does look quite good once it's all together it's uh, a nice big ear now once of course you've done once you've done that once we do want to do that just one more time now if you come to the opposite side of the head and you take this block right here this is the same block that we started with on the opposite side this one right here if it helps you at all uh, you want to take this one and place three black concrete on top one two three and then from that do two upright diagonals one two and go right by three one two three do two bottom right diagonals one two and go down by three one two three and do two bottom left diagonals one and two and go left to connect place a row of black concrete directly in front of everything that you've just made just to like reinforce it a little bit and do bear in mind that you want to be able to place two blocks either side of the ear, like that to the left and to the right, like that. And once you've done that, we now want to place a layer of black concrete that sits inside of the empty space that you have. And it just, it wants to go all the way around the inside of the empty shape that you have. So the big circular shape, it just wants to go all the way around the inside like this and uh, it just wants to shrink the shape ever so slightly connecting together at the corners it's the same thing that we've done a bajillion times already and then we want to completely fill in all of the empty space that is now in the center of this and it wants to be done one row outwards from the actual ear itself just like that and once you've done that to the front, we now want to do the same thing to the back. It's once again going all the way around the inside of the outside of the shape. I know that kind of sounds weird, but if you think about it, that's kind of what we're doing. Uh, you want to just connect it all together just like this. So all the way there, one in the corner, just like that. And then we're going to fill in all of the empty space again. This is something that we've done three times already. I'm sure that you guys will be able to do this in your sleep right now. And once you've done that, we should end up with two nice complete ears. We've got Mickey's head. We've got the clubhouse. We've got the foot. There's only one thing that we're actually missing right now. And all that we're missing is the slide. It's a very important part of the clubhouse. Let's come to the back of the actual clubhouse itself. So we're now on the back. You want to locate the two middle blocks at the top middle of the back these two red concrete blocks right here they're in line with the middle of the neck while from these blocks place two uh, two rows of seven cyan concrete coming out of the back one two three four five six seven and do the same for the other row coming straight out of the middle then extend the back two end blocks these two blocks to the right here extend them to the right by 12. one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and then place an additional row behind to create kind of like a nice l bend like this and then extend these last two front facing cyan concrete blocks forwards by six one two three four five six and do the same for the other row too like that we then want to place directly underneath this where we can but mind you we want to place the same row of cyan concrete but we want to leave two rows gap so like you want to leave one row and then two row 
And then you actually want to be able to place like the same row of cyan concrete that you've just placed. So if you just place the exact same thing, just copying what you can see above you, you just want to place the exact same thing, literally the exact same thing that you've just placed, except there's two rows distance between it. And the two rows is so that you are actually able to walk back, uh, walk through the slide like that, because this is a slide, of course, and we want to be able to walk through it. So now let's put some sides on the slide. So on the left hand side here, we're going to place enough cyan concrete that we can just fill in the side of the slide. We want to do the same on the back. It doesn't want to connect together at the corners. We want to kind of have like a bend shape. And you, you want to have something like this. I I'll just show you. So you want to create something that should look a, a little bit like that. And you just want to fill in the two rows of space in between the top of the slide and uh, the bottom of the slide, just like this. It should be fairly easy, you just want to cover it in. And you want to do the same thing on the inside part here as well. So once again, you just want to fill in um, these two rows on this part of the slide too. And here as well. And here, just in between the two rows like this, nothing, uh, nothing crazy. And then you should find that you have a nice functioning slide, for the most part. Because now what we want to do, is we want to take the bottom part of the slide on the end here, and we want to place sets of diagonal cyan concrete blocks. So like we want to take these two blocks, and we want to place a bottom right diagonal, right by one. Bottom right diagonal, right one. Bottom right diagonal, right one. So on and so forth, until we gradually float our way to the ground like this. So coming all the way down to the ground like that, we want to place our cyan concrete. And we want to do the same as well on the opposite side. So we want to place two rows of cyan concrete here. We just want to place the bottom of the slide slowly coming down towards the ground. And we also want to, like, we want to actually have sides to this. So we want to create a diagonal row of, uh, th this is kind of tricky. We basically just want to like build up an area to the left and right of this that is about two blocks high because we don't want to accidentally fall off the slide. So like if you, if you do something like this, like coming all the way down, it's kind of difficult to explain, um, you know, what I'm doing, but I, th I think it should be fairly easy that you can see. I'm kind of putting like a, the side on the side, but I'm not... Mm. But like I'm, I'm not putting the top on if that makes sense. So we're, do we're doing something um, fairly fairly like this we're, For the last few rows for maybe for like last three or so We'll just shrink it down to like one because it's getting a bit safer And I'm also gonna put um, a part of the slide in the ground as well But like at the bottom here. I just kind of want to have the singular rows of cyan concrete like this but uh, as we get towards the top, oh, we can actually place it on here now, which is good. But as we get towards the top, I kind of want it to be a little bit safer, if that makes sense. So, like, if you can... Oh, have, I done, have I done that wrong? Have I done that silly? Might have added a few too many, but oh, I don't think I have, actually. It's, uh, it actually looks fine. So, on these sides, I actually kind of want to have something which looks like that, right? That's the sort of thing that I'm going for. You don't have to do anything uh, li as, you know, literally like that, but you, you can if you want to. Or you can just, like, have one row coming all the way down the outside or two rows. But in, in, in any case, that is the clubhouse pretty much complete, right? Uh, we can get inside the clubhouse if we come through the front door uh, All we have to do is smash through this bit of red concrete and we have access to the inside of the clubhouse um, I'd also recommend building like uh, ladders. Ah, this, this this might be easier with a, a potion and night vision, actually. Uh, on the inside of the clubhouse, you'll obviously be able to get to the slide, and it might be actually easier to work out um, to work our way from the slide. Like, if we come inside the slide here, it might be easier to, like, destroy our way in, like that. And then maybe, like, I don't know, maybe build, a, build like, the inside of the slide as well. So, like, just build it down like this. Make it look as though that it's all, uh, you know, everything's nice and fine and dandy like this. Kind of, like, build the top of the slide together on the inside. Something like this would look just fine, I think. Just like that. That looks pretty good. Maybe add a couple of rows 
of uh, cyan concrete here on the inside like that. Maybe add an additional, maybe actually fill this, this part in with cyan concrete. Maybe like that. Inside the slide part there. So that looks, that looks kind of good. And then maybe add like a couple of uh, rows of ladders, something like that to the middle bit. So then you can actually climb up to uh, the slide part and then you can, uh, then you can get out nice and easy. But I'm not going to tell you what to do with the interior because I want you guys to figure that out for yourselves. This is your house. I want you guys to figure out what you're doing for the interior. But now you can climb in the slide and you can also climb out the slide nice and easily as well. The only two things that I'm going to do now, so first of all, I want to place a, I'm, I'm going to place basically a nice big yellow uh, gate, uh, not a gate, I'm going to place like a nice big yellow fence going all the way around the outside of the clubhouse. I've already got it marked out on the ground where I'm going to be placing this big yellow wall. Uh, it's basically the 48 by 42 row that goes all the way around the outside of the build. I, I already decided to myself a long while ago that I want to have a nice big perimeter. Because if I if I do want to add some stuff to the grounds, then uh, I'm not really limited if I did give myself a little bit of extra space to work with on the actual, uh, on the inside of the grounds of the clubhouse. So I'm just going to build a big yellow wall. Might even round it at the edges as well. I might make it a little bit more circular than round once it's done, but we'll we'll see what we want to do after after we've done that. So now you can see that we've kind of got our we've got our area sorted. I am going to round it on the edges. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this right. So I'm just going to connect it together diagonally at the corners with two diagonals. It's really easy to do this if you add like a, a block in the middle, and then one either side and then destroy the excess blocks, you'll end up with a nice rounded edge. I, I think that this suits it a little bit better because the actual shape of the clubhouse itself is uh, is circular, like it's it's not like a big square house. So it would make sense that uh, the wall itself is also circular as well, better to fit the shape. So I that looks a little bit better. I also want to create an entrance. Uh, the entrance is going to be right in the middle, which uh, is easy to find because the two middle blocks in the entire plot that we've just created uh, is right in between those two windows. Uh, buttons, iron trap doors, I'm going to place iron trap doors here. Buttons either side so that we can open the trap doors and we can walk through them. You can even just jump over the wall if you wanted to, but uh, that will open the trap doors and you'll be able to walk inside and out. I'm also going to place a bit of path on the inside as well. I'm going to use uh, light grey concrete for this. And I'm just going to kind of like create a pattern of path, right? Uh, I'd, I want to have like a set of like grey stones, kind of like just leading to, uh, to the entrance. Um, th this might take a little bit of working out because I do want it to look right. But uh, basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to add a, a few um, sets of like circular stones like this. Circular stones. I mean the, the squares pretty much. But uh, I want to add like a set of like square stones. Kind of like this. That just lead us to the entrance part of, uh, of the clubhouse. So something like that will, uh, will do nicely. Like that. And I just, I, I want those to be light grey. I, I just want to have basically like a, a set of squares that uh, acts as like a stone path that just leads you from the entrance to the clubhouse um, to, well, the entrance of the grounds to the entrance of the clubhouse and uh, it also leads you out as well. So something like this, I kind of want to have something like that, something that's a little bit random. I quite like that. And then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to replace all of the grass, which is going to be so painful, using lime terracotta because I think that it looks a little bit better as grass than actual grass itself. And uh, that that's all I'm going to be doing. I mean, it's, it's up to you whether you guys want to do this. You might not feel like really replacing all the grass, and I wouldn't blame you because big area, it's like, what, 50 by 50 blocks pretty much, so therefore it's about 250 or so um, blocks to destroy. Take away some because of the inside of the clubhouse as well that takes up a bit of an area but uh, you have got quite a lot of area to replace regardless anyway so uh, i'm going to be doing all of that ladies and gentlemen 50 by 50 is actually that's way more than 250 i don't know where i got that math from <laughs> map there i don't know where i got that math from but it's way more than 250 blocks uh 
But that's what I'm going to be doing. So let me do all of that. I'll show you what it looks like once you've destroyed all of the grass. I'll get rid of all the numbers. And I'll, I'll show you what you could end up with if you add a little bit of a path. Uh, replace some of the grass. All of that fun stuff. I'll be back in a moment. So this is what the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse house should look like once you have completely got rid of all of the grass. And that that's pretty much all I've done. <laughs> I've, between now and then, or then and now, I've pretty much just deleted all the regular grass and replaced it with lime terracotta. That took so much time, I, I cannot tell you that took an incredible amount of time. But, the area does look good. Uh, I don't know whether you uh, will yourself be tempted to do that for yourself. It really does depend on how you feel about regular grass. I don't know whether you'd like to add some certain things around the actual grounds of the clubhouse as well. But I thought it would be cool to actually just have the clubhouse, the middle part, and turn it into a big giant Minecraft house. And that's what we have right here. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please do remember to hit that like button. I'd really appreciate that. So, so, so much, guys. I honestly would. If you would like the video, I'd honestly appreciate appreciate that so much. I really do. Uh, if you enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel and click the little bell next to the subscription button to ensure the you get all my stuff sent directly to your sub box. Very important stuff indeed. Uh, you have to subscribe twice on YouTube these days, otherwise you, you just don't get my stuff through your sub boxes. And if you do want to check out any more things by me, we have a lot of cartoon related builds around here and you might be able to see some Spongebob, some Captain Underpants. Uh, a lot of Captain Underpants. Even a little bit of Batman over there, that's the Batcave, believe it or not. Uh, we have a lot of stuff in the card system and the description below including the original version of the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse if you want to check that out this is this is like supposed to be a house a nice big house the original version was supposed to be like a replica a recreation of the actual grounds the big massive clubhouse itself all of that card system description below thank you so much for watching guys I appreciate all of you so 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 much you've got no idea thank you so much for watching I'll see you in the next video this video subscriber shout out is a little bit different. So, I was having trouble just picking somebody yesterday for this video subscriber shout out. So, what I did was I made a post on the YouTube channel saying roughly this I'm having trouble picking the next subscriber shout out. If you'd like a shout out, please comment on this video with something funny. And whatever I like the best gets a shout out in the next video, aka tomorrow's video, which is incidentally this video right here. And honestly, I didn't expect much. I was scrolling through the comments, as I do, and finally, finally, this one got a little bit of a chuckle. Shout out goes to German Diaz, who commented, What do ducks throw on the street on the 4th of July? Firequackers. <laughs> now, I'm, I'm not saying that it's the funniest thing in the world, but it kind of cracked me up a little bit, which is why German Diaz is receiving the subscriber shout out for this video. If you would like to check out German, then please do have a look down in the description. German doesn't seem to have any any uh, videos on his or her channel, but feel free to subscribe anyway, just to show a little bit of support. I love that when you guys support me. I appreciate it when you guys support the people that support me. So maybe just give a subscribe if you like. Thank you so much, German. I really do appreciate the comment, and I'm pretty sure that I've seen you commenting on my videos before, so I do appreciate that as well. Who knows, maybe next time it'll be you that gets featured at the end of this video. So all you have to do to have a chance at being featured at the end of a video, like the videos, subscribe, click the little bell next to the subscription button, and generally just be a nice and positive force in the comments. And if you do want an extra shot, if you catch me with something off guard that's kind of funny, hey, Maybe it'll increase your chances. But once again, thank you so much to German. I really do appreciate you and everybody that is like you that does subscribe to me, that does support the channel. I appreciate you. I'll see you guys in the next video.